When most people think of the major scale, they think of really shiny, happy music. I'm here to let you in on a little secret though. But first, you have to join the super cool guitar players club and learn the secret handshake. So the big secret, and I've mentioned it on this channel before, but it bears repeating, is that the mood and atmosphere of a lead part or melody has very little to do with the scale you use in that part. You heard me right. If you're playing a lead or singing a part over a piece of music, the scale that you choose to use over that music has very little effect on the vibe of that part. What actually sets the tone is the background music itself. So if you want a dark, very minor sounding lead, you don't need to play a minor scale in the lead. You need to have a chord progression behind it that's based on the minor scale. Let me show you real quick. You saw it there, same lead, same scale, but the mood is completely different with the change in scenery behind it. Now, of course, if the lead part is on its own with no background music, then the scale sets the tone. But how often do you play leads that aren't part of a song behind it? So now that you know it's safe to use a major scale, even if you want to be completely metal, let's look at how I think you can play the scale for maximum awesomeness, and I'll even give you a few free licks to steal along the way. The old school way, if you take like a C major, is to play it like this. I think the better way for a person wanting to play lead guitar, though, is to learn it three notes per string. It's a little more complex at first, but it allows you to have a coordinated picking pattern along with your scale that will allow you to build up more speed if that's what you want. Let me show you again. We'll do a G major scale just so we can stay over here in the same area of the guitar neck. We start with a G on the E string, and G major is G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. We have G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp G A B C D E F sharp G and then A B C. Now that you can see how the scale is constructed with three notes per string, let me give you three cool licks right in that area that you can steal that sound all metally rock badass. Okay, the first lick you saw me do there is a looping lick on the G and D string, and I start with an upstroke, and I play the C, fifth fret, pull off to the fourth fret B, and then a downstroke on the G on the fifth fret of the D string. And then I do an upstroke on the D, seventh fret, and then pull off to that same B on the fourth fret, back to the G again. And then I repeat this C to B, fifth, fourth, and then fifth C string. And then I roll the pattern over again. So you end up with two of those when they roll up back to back. It's a nice little loop around. Lick number two is a cool slinky kind of thing that I use all the time. And it's really got a comfortably numb kind of feel to it with the half bends. And I'm going here on the seventh fret B of the E string. Bending up to C, letting it down, then playing the fifth fret, A, then a G on the B string, eighth fret, seventh fret on the G string for a D, then C, fifth fret, and fourth fret, bend it up to that C, back down so it's an octave of, then the G, and then E to resolve to the E minor the 7th fret of the A string. It was the 5th fret of the D string, 7th fret of the A string. I love that slinky, comfortably numb vibe. This last one is a pure shredder's practice pattern, and you can use it to lead into some 30-second notes. And all I'm doing, starting with an upstroke on the note A, 
fifth fret E string, and then it's a downstroke on the G, eight, seven, five, work my way back up, seven, eight, and then back up to that with an upstroke again, so my up and down picking is staying alternate the entire time. And I'm just playing at a hyper fast speed. So if you're having trouble picking that fast, uh, there's some techniques with how you roll the pick and angle it. And I have a whole video, two videos actually, a series on speed picking, which I'll link up here. Also, as the video finishes here, I'll pop up a link to the beginning of the mode series. If you like that three note per string stuff and you want to learn it all over the guitar neck so you can play anywhere in any key, I've got a really simple like seven step way of doing that. And I'll put that at the end link. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I get back to everyone as soon as I can. And until next time, keep making great music. Hey friends, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. It makes the whole world better.